Since it's summer and the weather is scorching hot, this video presents to you the risks you put your pet lives in during that hot weather. There is no need to tell you how this climate is unbearable and stuffy. Can you walk barefooted in the street in this weather? It is impossible unless you plan to burn yourself for some reason. Now, let's think of this scenario together. You park your car somewhere where the sun is in direct contact with it in the afternoon, for example, and then you go shopping, then you get back to the car. Unlock the doors and sit inside. Will your skin honestly be able to touch the car's leather seat? It feels like fire, right? You'll scream and jump out of the car, open the windows quickly until the car's temperature cools down so you can turn on the AC. Phew! Now imagine you leave your dog in the car to suffocate in this weather while you're away. Unfair, isn't it? There is a famous saying which applies to extremely hot days in summer. It's so hot you can fry an egg on the pavement. And this is what one man did to show people what could befall their pets when they leave them in their vehicles. That's a good example because it's very accurate. A lot of people don't have enough awareness about how dangerous it is to leave dogs in cars when it's stifling outside. This is why a lot of dogs die every summer because of their incapability to tolerate such weather, especially inside vehicles. We're talking about all kinds of dogs. But imagine huskies in that weather. They already need special care, and such weather could kill them instantly. Even if you plan to end your errands so quickly, don't leave your dogs in the car in that weather because it only takes a couple of seconds to end their lives. The problem is serious and not insignificant at all because vets and specialists confirm that explanation. You might think it's not really hot on one day and it's fine to leave your dog in the vehicle for some minutes, but this is still dangerous. The temperature outside the car is different from the temperature inside it. In other words, it's like an inferno inside the car. That is why a lot of people start their day all happy and peaceful, but at the end of the day they are crying and heartbroken because they left their dogs in the car on a very hot summer day, which killed their dogs. Unfortunately, sometimes it's too late to save the dog's life and revive it. So under any condition, whether it's summer or winter, don't leave your dogs in your cars. You have no idea how the temperature inside the car could rapidly rise. This could cause brain damage to the dog, who didn't find any space to cool down itself a bit. This is really tragic, and the mistake of putting dogs in such situations is really fatal and grave. Pets suffer severely in that oppressive heat. 78 degrees is life-threatening to your dog. If you think it is an exaggeration, put yourself in your dog's shoes. Sit yourself in the car for a couple minutes on an extremely sunny and hot day. No, don't turn on the AC and keep the windows closed. Make sure you're wearing a winter coat and just wait. Of course, you will feel your brain getting numb, you'll suffocate, feel like roasting inside the car, sweat like never before, and perhaps you might even faint. This is what your dog goes through when you leave it in the car in such a climate. It is crucial and you shouldn't overlook it. Your dog can't speak, but it surely feels and gets hurt. Hear its silent cries and just be more careful. By the way, it's also not good to take your dog for a walk in such weather as well, because their paws will get burnt and things might escalate quickly. It is unbearable to walk barefooted, as we mentioned at the beginning of this video. You wear shoes, but your dog doesn't. However, we're surprised every day with the new discoveries and things that people come up with to make it easier for dogs and their owners. There are like some rubber socks or shoes that are made especially to cover the dog's paws so that they could walk around on a hot summer day without having their paws burnt. This is so sweet. Yet, I think that there is no need to walk your dog on two hot days for their own safety. Please, pet owners, be more considerate. If you find this video eye-opening, share it with your friends and pet lovers.